Angelina. Keeping up with G. Keeping up, keeping up, keeping up with G. excited and at the same time I am pained. So which do you want to hear first? Why I'm excited or why I'm pained? If you want to hear why I'm excited first, say I. And if you want to hear why I'm pained first, say nay. Yeah. The eyes have it. <laughs> and don't go say I rigged that election. Don't say I rigged the voting. The eyes have it. So this is why I am excited. Around this time last week, Thursday, I dropped my first video on YouTube about um, let's go through my phone together. And oh my God, I had amazing views, amazing thumbs up, subscribers and everything. I am so excited. Like, <sighs> I didn't see that coming because before I started the YouTube channel, like people were like, I don't get your hopes up, are you? So won't be up. Some people will not subscribe, some people will not go with you. But I was like, it just went beyond what I expected. I am so excited. Thank you. So back to why I am pained. It's been a rough couple of days in Nigeria, in the world in general. And the rape cases in Nigeria, it's just alarming. It's like every day I go online, I read the news. It's one rape case or the other. It's painful. It's painful. You on, on, on social media, you're on Instagram or Twitter or what, and it's one rape case or the other justice for this person, justice for that person. It's painful. And what is one more annoying is I came across a tweet some days back and the person said that most of the girls that are being raped are the cause of them being raped. The person legit was trying to put the blame on the girls' outfit, like have you seen the way most girls of this generation dress? That's wrong. That's very wrong. Because Barakat that was raped, she was wearing an hijab. The three-year-old girl that was raped, how was she dressing indecently? How was she dressing indecently? So rapists rape people. They do not rape the outfit. I don't like when people try to put the blame game on indecent dressing. The girl wasn't dressing well or something. That's totally wrong. There is no amount of moral you would teach the girl child that would prevent rape if you would not teach the boy child that he doesn't have the right to anybody's body. Anybody that cannot control their self is a monster. Yes, I said what I said and I am not apologetic about that. But I am really, really pained right now. Anybody that cannot control their self is a monster. And if you feel like the urge, the sexual urge is extremely strong on you, Anything you want to do with your body, fine, do it with your body. If you want to masturbate, if that's your body, it's you and God, you and your creator. But do not involve another person's child, another person's son. Because I heard that even guys are being raped also, not just the ladies. Guys are being raped also. So anything you want to do with your body, fine, it's your body. But you see, it may be five minutes of pleasure to you. But it's an entire lifetime of crisis to the other person, to the victim. A lifetime of pain, a lifetime of trauma. Like it's just a lifetime of pain to the other person. Remember, you self will want to kill you. If they do that to your child, how will you feel about it? She's my girlfriend, it's not concept. I bought her shawarma, it's not concept. I bought her a phone, it's not concept. She slept over at my place, it's not concept. Rape is never a way to get back to a girl that do not agree to your dating offer. You don't need to hold a girl by the waist to say excuse me. You could as well just tell her that excuse me, you don't need to touch her, you don't need to hold her by the waist, surely somebody you don't know. Because that's really indecent. I it's really indecent. Learn to control your sexual urge. Now this is to the male and to the females. Learn to control your sexual urge. No isn't convince me. No isn't push me small. No isn't turn me on. No isn't touch my body small. No is no. This is actually not what I planned for my second YouTube video. Honestly. I actually planned something else. But then, we just have to use every means and every platform that we have. 
to say no to this rape culture, to say enough of this barbaric behavior. So family, I want you guys to join me in saying no to this rape culture, to this rape behavior, to this barbaric behavior. This whatsoever platform you have, your social media platform, enlighten people in your neighborhood, let them know that no is no. Join me in this. Thank you so much. Hey family, thank you for watching today's episode of Keeping Up With Jim. You know this issue of rape is a very sensitive issue. I try to keep checkmate my emotions and sorry if I wasn't good at that. It's a really sensitive topic. Thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe. <laughs>